Peter Vinalia coming to you from the paddock here at Yonkers Raceway in New York with an advanced look at Tuesday afternoon's races, specifically the five mile and a quarter races. And with me now is Yonkers Raceway's leading driver, Jason Barlett. Thanks for joining us, Jason. Hey, thanks, Pete. Uh, in the seventh race from the rail, you're driving Raise the Curtain. Now, this is a horse who earned over $100,000 last year, and you drove him to wins at Pocono and here. Uh, showed good speed in most of his tries here, including a wire-to-wire -wire romp from the rail. Yeah, he's a nice little horse. Uh, Five-year-old now, made 100000 last year, like you said. So he's a nice horse, draws the rail here. Not a real tough group. Um, so I, I would think he'd be okay in this in this field. Yeah, any reason to think, you know, with the kind of speed this one does show in most of the race, any reason to think the distance will be an issue? No, no, no. Tim's a good good trainer. Um, so, no, I, no, no. No issues there, I don't think. All right. And race eight from the rail again. Uh, you good day of draw so far. You're uh, driving hidden identity for trainer Tom Malici. The top Yonkers con connections, Tom Malici, uh, Malici and uh, Jason Bartlett. Uh, <laughs> third, third in his last, uh, that, that, but that came after a couple of breaks. And he had a late surge, but not quite good enough to catch Savruga, who, to be fair, can be tough to catch when he's on the lead. How was he in that race? Uh, I would just say okay. Um... I had trot at the end, but I really, you know, I wanted to move him down the backside, but I really didn't have enough trot to, 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 to go forward, so I just kept him in. You know, hindsight, I wish I would have just pulled him, but uh, who knows if he'd even been third. So, um, you know, he has good enough gate speed. He's not on his game right now, but, you know, hopefully with a little bit of decent trip. Depends on how he feels I'll, this way I'll drive him. If he feels like last week, I'll have to s settle him in. If he feels a little bit more more aggressive, then I might, I might move him to back. Now, he, 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 now, he's two for three at the distance, and... He, he certainly should be one who can take advantage of the rail draw. Yeah, yeah. He, he, you know, this this is not a terribly tough group either. The seven horse raced really well last week. The six horse was good too, uh, but mile and a distance, you know, anything can happen here. All right. In race nine from the ten hole, second tier, you're driving surface tension for trainer Gilbert Garcia Herrera. Now you were second with him this level in May and uh, third two back again at this level. Now he jumped it off in his last. What, what happened there? Uh, I think he had a little trouble with his feet. Uh, his feet were bothering him a little bit, and he was a little, you know, a little sore there going in the first turn. So I, I would expect to be a little bit different to, uh, this week since uh, he's back in. All right, yeah, and now this is one. Uh, any particular concerns about the second tier, especially coming off the break? Or No, no, he usually likes to race with a, with a, with a target anyway, so actually the second tier kind of suits him pretty good. I think he's the best in here if he's on, you know, if it's, if it's the horse that comes two starts ago. All right, and finally in the 10th race, you're driving number three. Uh, actually, next to the last one, the 10th race, you're driving number three. Perfectly enough S for trainer Marcus Melinda. Now, this is one who earned a lot of money overseas. One win in six tries with that win coming here at Yonkers. Uh, what, I know you've never driven him. You've raced against him. What do you know about him? Uh, on the track, he just looks like a professional. Uh, Great-looking horse, great gated horse. Um, you know, obviously, he's made a lot of money overseas. Just looks like a really nice horse. You know, it'd be great to, you know, get, get the drive on him. Yeah, no, this is, uh, have you talked at all with Marcus yet about the horse? No, no, um, you know, he'll, he'll be here on Tuesday, so he'll tell me what not to do and what to do, so we'll take it from there. All right, and then finally, there is one more that you have in the 11th race here, in all five of the of the races. You're driving from the six-hole trading places for trainer Richard Bank. Now, this the very interesting driver change in this one, uh, going from Joe Feraldo to Jason Bartlett. Now, for you betters out there, that might be something that you want to consider in your handicapping. Now, both you and Joe have achieved the same result with this horse, finishing second with this horse. So you're on a par, at least, yeah. with Joe Feraldo. Now, you drove him last year and in January. Uh, tell us about him. Um, you know, hasn't been racing that great by the looks of the lines there. So, um, you know, doesn't have a lot of gate speed to get involved. Um, looks like we're going to need some luck here, and hopefully with a decent trip we can, you know, get a piece of it. Now, he seems to be getting a little bit of a class relief. That certainly seems to be uh, helpful for this horse. Yeah, I think some other ones are getting class, class relief in this race, too. So, um, you know, so we're, we're going to need a little luck in this one. So for you baseball fans out there, it's sort of like having a donut on the bat. Uh, you take that donut off, put Jason Bartlett on, you got a big shot. But Jason Bartlett will have a shot at at least a number of the big races on uh, Tuesday at the mile and a quarter distance. Thanks again, Jason. Thank you. Thank you.